Hello everybody. Hello. So we went through a bit of our archives and found that we've got a whole bunch of old footage that we haven't shared with anyone yet. So yep. we thought that <coughs> because we've got so many subscribers on YouTube, thank you very much, we would put some of that stuff together and share a bit of the old footage from while we were traveling. Um, <laughs> Um, so yeah, let us know what you think. Yeah. Um, comment underneath uh, if you like it. Ask some questions. We'll try to get back to you. Um, and we'll keep sharing and get through these quieter times all together and bring a little bit of adventure into your homes and these nyalas. A little bit of action from the bush. Um, and also just check out the Instagram stories and um, we'll update with some smaller things on there from time to time as we're walking around around our house in the bush. Cheers! Cool! Bye! We've just left Victoria Falls. Uh, we had a wonderful time there. We explored the waterfalls, it was beautiful. We even did some uh, river rafting, which was great. We discovered Zambezi House, a really quirky little uh, cafe for lunch. But now we are on our way towards Binga, which is. Uh, how do you explain Binga? A little bit of nothing in the middle of nowhere. A little bit of nothing in the middle of nowhere, our kind of place. So we've had enough of people and towns and expenses, and we are heading back out into the sticks and see what we can find and then from there it's onwards towards Boomy Hills and our first project so stay tuned drove out of Victoria Falls and into the more rural parts of Zimbabwe and um, the more the scenery changed and as we got closer towards Chisarua National Park we started seeing the mountains um, Chisarua is known as uh, the Valley of Hidden Gorges and you could see quite quickly why that was the case um, it's hard to know if people didn't visit this park because of the road as we quite quickly discovered which was completely unmaintained and super super rocky um, but it did make it all the more fun to actually be able to get there. Finally, after the longest, bumpiest road ever, we've arrived at the Chisora National Park Eight. So we must yeah. be careful. Ah, <laughs> ah don't worry. Ah. Do you think we'll see them? Ah, sometimes you, if you have a luck, you can see them. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> We've just come through the gates at Chizarira National Park. I'm very excited to be here. It's been quite a drive up the hill to get here. The gate, the, the guard gate, what's his name? Siri. Siri. The Shona uh, name that he gave us in full, we can't remember, but it, remember, it means remember, which is quite ironic. Sira Ri Sira Sira Ri Anyway, the last visitors they had in this national park was October, 25th of October. I asked him if he'd had visitors very often and he went, eesh, not often. <laughs> so yeah, let's see what we can see. As it turned out, the Indian was actually quite quiet in Chisarira. Uh, we did see a jackal uh, running through the bush, but other than that, it was just the scenery, uh, which was exquisite all in its own. driving about six hours now into this funny little reserve that we'd never heard of before but come and look at this view you won't believe it Granya did amazingly well the roads have been very very rough um, but this view is like nothing else that you've seen come and check it out I'm trying careful not to fall over the edge Truly redefining the bucket shower, but bucket shower with the most incredible view. Have a look at that. The view of the shower was the best that we had anywhere on the trip, as was with our fire. Um, after such a bumpy, hot, rocky day of exploring, we were absolutely ravenous, and Grant treated us to wiki pot bread, which was absolutely delicious. Good job. Look at that, everybody. A little bit of wind um, and a wood owl, and that's about it. We had a lovely night and woke up to the most incredible view coffee with the view, home baked bread with peanut butter for breakfast. My favorite. Right about here, we thought we'd jump off the car and just head off into the bushes a little bit, see if we could find any sign of an African pitta. A very elusive little bird, which proved to be more difficult than we thought. Yeah. Uh, 
we've just stopped on the way back to Chizaz. Oh, how do you say that? From Chizarira National Park just to enjoy this beautiful view. I found a little guinea fowl feather as well on the road. Lovely, isn't it? Now we are on our way back down the mountain. Uh, we're going to Boomi Hills for our first project. So very, very excited to see what um, what that camp's like and to meet everybody and to see what we can do to help them.